Devin Larrett, you son of a bitch. Lex Friedman. What's the matter? MIT got you pushing too many pencils? All right, you got me. Oh. <laughs> now, if I wanted to beat you, what would I do here? It starts before we even arm wrestle. It's, it's all postural, really. So if I can make you come to me, <laughs> this is the first step. Always make me come to you. Exactly. It lets you use more muscles against less muscles. You target weakness, right? You target my fingertips, you get to use more muscles. So you see this ridge? Yeah. Very important. The higher up this ridge is in my hand, the better. The more the pressure is in my fingers, as opposed to your fingers, mm -hmm. the better. All right. What are some basics here that you should know? Okay, maybe we'll start with a move called the post. The post by itself is not that powerful of a move, but it's a fantastic opening. Once you have a post established, the world completely opens up for you. Yeah, the post is very simply an upwards drive of the knuckles. Yeah. And That's then it, it also yes. climbs at the same yes, time. Yes, exactly. And it's all about generating better angles. That's it, yeah. You're always trying, like if you open up your hand, you're always trying to get deeper as well. So you're trying to get deeper and deeper. That's Climbing more, up yeah, and, and over. Both, yeah. That's it, advancing yeah. that position all the time, yeah. So you're always climbing. You're always climbing am, over and yeah, up. Yeah, that's the goal, yeah. Okay. Always climbing, always improving position. A, B, C. Always be climbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, inside and outside, that'll be your first division. Mm -hmm. So when we're, when we're arm wrestling outside, basically the sh it's all these pulling motions. Mm -hmm. Pulling, pulling. Uh, and, and to some degree, they all attack the fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay? A standard top roll will look something like this. I'll start to apply pressure up into the fingers. Mm -hmm. I'll start to bend my wrist. And as I'm bending my wrist, you will be attempting to be bend your wrist and I will block you with something called pronation, which mm -hmm. is this turning. And I'll carry through the fingers and I'll take you all the way to the pin pad through the fingertips. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a fantastic move for, for beating people. It's, it's one of the best techniques in arm wrestling, the top row. Mm -hmm. Most world champions, I would say, I'd say most use top row. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also seen you compliment somebody that, you know, the, it's not over y here yet. For no, me. Uh, you can not. hold some of the strongest people in the world like this, and that's. Uh, you, I think you were complimenting somebody that they were able to do that against. Yeah. Them. Another way to talk about arm wrestling, like so, we started to touch on like the top roll, mm -hmm. the hook. So a hook is basically uh, wrist flexor driven, mm -hmm. right? So it's more about attacking the person's pronation. So you establish a hook, and then you can pull out of it, or you make it more of a press and it's more shoulders coming right forward, and you're coming right in on the person, right. okay? So hooking and pressing, are so all the moves in arm wrestling are similar, mm -hmm. okay? Just mm -hmm. subtle differences. But the roll results in an asymmetric, like I'm losing your win. Right. It feels like the hook is where... You get to stay in the match a little bit stay more. Stay in the match, yeah. You do, yeah. But a good, a good arm wrestler isn't gonna necessarily give you that. Like, yeah. a, they're, they're not, you don't see a lot of world-class matches where the guy is just pressing, you don't see it. The controversial king's move, what is yeah. that? <laughs> okay, so the king's move is yeah. actually, it's a defensive move, okay? So the only thing I'm trying to do when I king's move is I'm trying to attack your arm angle through dragging, okay? And I'm trying to target your fingers through pronation. I'm trying to do all the other things as well, but these are my anchors, okay? So I'll fight for all the other stuff, but I'll give them away. This is the one that I hold, so I will turn Right, and a lot of times there's a dipping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you pulling also? I, am I? Are you like basically pulling me towards you? This I'll kind try, of but I may not be able to. So normally a king's move is used against a very strong opponent. Mm -hmm. The king's move is throwing a big wrench yeah. into into the sport, but there's this has been happening a lot as the sport evolves. The king's move is here to stay. So where is the, where do the injuries come? Right here. That's the one. The what, bad what is one the is the elbow? break. Is the break of what? Yeah, uh, humerus. Oh wow! Yeah, right here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. literally break yeah, your test arm. Test your frame, man. We are. We're like. 
and so not a bicep tear not it can happen bicep tears can happen i'd say that the break is the one it's that's a literal arm break oh yeah Holy shit. and when it goes it's like yeah wow the strongest arm i've ever felt in my life <laughs> Hey, and he's uh, not even trying. I'm very specialized. I'm a super specialized athlete. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Devin Larratt, this is a huge honor. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, for me too. Come on. Get up. 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 Get up.